Welcome you two friends and family to today's finally gardening edition of the Wellness Homesteader. So it is May 9th here and I know things are going to be uploaded out of order. Um, so you won't see this until the garden's in the ground, but that's okay, right? So today is also the big day. My chicken coop's supposed to come, so we shall see, right? Sometimes things don't always happen like they're supposed to. So I did manage yesterday because we had a nice warm day to get, and please excuse the state of my deck railing. I need to get that power washer out. I did plant flowers. It was a stellar day. It is a gorgeous day today as well. It is supposed to be in the mid 70s. And then for the remainder of the week, it's gonna be in the 80s. So, sunscreen on, <laughs> fingers crossed that I don't get a burn. I first wanna apologize for the way I look because if this was a beauty contest, I would come in last place. But you know what? I'm gonna be outdoors, I'm gonna be sweating, um, I'm gonna get dirty, and I really don't care. <laughs> so I hope y'all excuse and look at what I'm doing, not what I look like. The second thing is we have had rain, 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 rain. My yard looks horrible, y'all. I mean, it like, mm, yeah, mm, hate to even show you. Uh, I do not treat my backyard because that's where I grow my food and I want to attract pollinators too, especially honeybees. So um, I have a lovely crop of dandelions and because the grass is so high, it looks like the city might come and find me. <laughs> but you know what? You'll hear a lot of mowers going in the background because no one's been able to mow their grass. I think I'm cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to start using my grow bags. So I will leave a link in the description box. I purchased these on Amazon. Let me show you that they have the access area for you to harvest your potatoes. So these are potato bags. And what I'm going to do is I did get, well, some potatoes with eyes on them. Um, some people call them chits. C-H-I-T-S, I did not say a bad word. So, in a 10 pound, 10 pound, 10 gallon container, let me just give you like the full look here. You can plant four or five. So, when you get a seed potato that has lots of eyes on it, there's a couple schools of thought, but you do wanna have at least two of the eyes on each piece but I'm gonna actually cut this potato in two, uh, or maybe more. Well, this one I think I'll cut in threes. Some people say you cut it, you let it air dry for a few days before you plant it in a cool, dark place. I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm going to do it the easy way. And you just wanna put four to five inches of soil into your grow bag, and again, four to five uh, potatoes with at least two eyes on them into each container and then I have a place out back between my two new beds that I am going to place these grow bags. Once greenery starts to shoot up then you start topping the dirt it shoots up more you top the dirt until it's completely you know full to the top so that's the plan so I am going to get started here cutting them up filling up my bags with dirt it is about nine o'clock in the morning it's still in the 50s so yes I have on two shirts because I don't I'm not ready for sleeveless but I will be shortly so I'm going to try to wear my guard gloves if I can remember where I even put them at this point but I, I have like seven pairs so I'll get myself a pair of garden gloves finally getting some nails growing back um so yeah, let's get busy and plant some potatoes. So I'm actually going to be using the same miracle Grow potting mix and in hopes of not making a huge mess, I am going to try scooping it out into the bags. Just a little flower pot I happen to have left over from yesterday. And what I didn't mention is once you get your potatoes in, you want to water them in really, really well. So 
So I actually am planting what was called a butterball. It's a yellow potato, my personal favorite. But I really only have enough for two bags for that. So for the additional bag, I am going to use Idaho. Because I happen to have a couple that had grown eyes in my pantry. Okay, still not really deep enough. I'll tell you, you wait and you wait and you wait until it's time to plant and then all of a sudden it's time to plant and you're like, oh my word, I feel behind. But truly, truly, truly one of my most favorite times of the year. Fall is actually my favorite time of the year because I enjoy the cooler weather and the changing leaves and just sort of ease up on all of the outdoor work because that does keep you quite busy. All right, so here's what I've got going on. You do want to plant your potatoes. You want two eyes per and you want to plant them eye up And I'm gonna go for four in each of these and then just cover it. I just think my hands would be easier, messier but easier, with a light layer of dirt and then we will water these in once I get them in place. So I'm gonna repeat this process and then we'll move on to another chore. Y'all, yeah, isn't spring and early summer just like the best time of the year, I tell ya. It's so nice to be out here in three quarter sleeves and shorts and bare feet. And um, Frankie, I have this green door open. He's asked very nicely, can he come out? And I don't think I've ever shared with you that I do have a harness for Frankie. Rarely do I ever take him out, but he <laughs> he's pawing at the door. He really wants to come out. I'm too distracted at the moment to do it and it's really wet and even though Frankie has a big fur coat I'm afraid he'll go cold. I treat the cat better than I treat myself. <laughs> so let me share with you what I'm going to try this year and this is square foot gardening. Now y'all I totally know that you can make one of these out of cardboard or um, you know something but what I really like about it is it has a plastic coated planting guide. So I thought we would use this to determine what we're gonna do with these 8,000 pepper plant starts that I happen to have. So let's find peppers first. Mm. This says one plant per square foot. I'm gonna take that as a suggestion. But the cool thing about this is it has this little poker thing, so you can make your hole. Well, wait, can you make your hole? Oh, psh, you don't put it through the center, ding dong. Um, and then it has depth markings on it. So I think this is really gonna help me. Now, one of the things that I grew are called cayenne long reds. I've grown them many times. They are a very narrow bush type pepper. They don't spread out a lot and I'm not going to do one per square foot because that would be like 16 plants in here. And yeah, no, I'm going to put probably more than that. Um, so I do want to try to keep these organized. And I've already forgotten what's what. Let's see. Okay, these are jalapenos. So this is what a cayenne long red looks like. And unfortunately, I didn't thin these guys because I figure survival. <laughs> I don't mind planting two in one and probably what I will do is pick like the best of the best so what you do here is I'm gonna take this little pokey thing and um, okay wait a minute if it is orange so I'm supposed to use the orange so yeah yeah which means one per know what that thing is okay well, we'll set that aside okay that now it'll go through so that would mean I would just plant one and I'm not gonna do that 
so we're not going to use the, the square right at first. What I try to do, okay, so these are peat pots, right? Let me just go ahead. Sorry, little fella. I don't want to lose what these are. I will just tear my peat pot so that I can get to the roots. I don't completely uproot it. I think it does better. And y'all, I'm not a master gardener. If you want to see somebody who always says she's not an expert gardener, but I love to watch her, go over and visit Becky at Acre Homestead. I mean, she doesn't need any more subscribers. <laughs> My God, dude, just saying. But you know what? Community above competition. And I have learned a lot from her, too. And I've been gardening for uh, 40 years. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do here is pick out, like, the hardiest looking. Oh, it kills me to pull these up after I tried so hard to grow them. And well, I should be able to get four across. Let's get that seating square. Yeah, let's do that. That's why you bought it, Kimberly. That may be a question that you have. And I will tell you, I love them because they dehydrate so beautifully. I mean, they really dehydrate well. So, let's put these over here. And I'll find places for these little ones, even if I have to end up putting them in pots. Okay. We have a ton of jalapenos. And these jalapenos, I had such a trial getting them to grow. And y'all, I'm not here to criticize Baker Creek, but I think they had like bad, bad juju on their um, seeds this year. I did not have good luck at all with any of their seeds. I had to plant and replant and plant again. So, these are sweet banana I want to do like with like. So generally what I will do is go ahead and decide, okay, which ones, uh, I try to plant the cream of the crop, the ones that have done the best. Um, sorry little fellas. And y'all, I can, these are cayenne peppers, I think it is. Yeah. I want to have plenty of jalapenos, because y'all that have been with me for a while know my love of spicy foods. So, my little fella. So, I've already gone rogue, but I think it will be a big help when I'm actually planting seeds. That's just cute. This is like seven. <laughs> um, and if y'all can see my grass in the background, I can't really blame my yard fellows because it is so wet here. <laughs> There's no way anybody could mow. Period. I like to plant my banana peppers with my tomatoes. Peppers and tomatoes do well, so I'm gonna set those aside. Y'all, I really don't know. I guess these are jalapenos, aren't they? Yeah. 
so whew, tragedy. You hear my neighbors mowing. So everybody's trying to get kind of a head start on what's going on out here with all of the wet that we've had. It's been pretty incredible. I'm certainly going to have plenty of leftovers for y'all. I did square foot this because that's 16 plants in a 4 by 4 bed. So I'm going to dig these in and I'll bring you back to show you what the bed looks like. Well y'all, <laughs> totally forgot I was filming. I got so into gardening but I wanted to share a couple things. If you remember I purchased some peat pots at the Amish uh, or Mennonite thrift store. And I like them, these coconut fiber ones for a deeply rooted plant. I didn't like them as much for onions, but you pretty much have to bare root onion seeds to plant them. You could just stretch it a little bit and they planted beautifully. So I followed the square foot gardening for my tomato plants. Now, as you see, I don't have enough tomato cages where I usually purchase them at a local um, garden center, a family owned and operated garden center, they were out. So, um, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight more, <laughs> a few more. One thing I did do, oh, excuse my hand. Here are my peppers, my cayenne uh, long reds, as well as my jalapenos. I did 16 of those. This bed, I know it still looks a hot mess, but this is lemon balm and mint. It's kind of intermingled. It's not as um, defined as when I planted it because it's really spread. There are a lot of weeds, but mint is super invasive, as is lemon balm, but not as much as mint. I, I don't need to um, dehydrate or freeze dry any, really. I have enough for like 14 years <laughs> when I get my chickens and guys pardon the noise it's Monday and like everybody's going someplace and there's so much heavy truck I live near a gravel pit so they're hot you know they're hauling so that's what all the noise is but anyway if you put um, mint and lemon balm in your girls um, nesting boxes it helps them to be calm and lay eggs easier. So, you know, my girls need herbs. I don't have lavender growing today. Um, might have to try to get some of that. So I have my peppers. And of course I cleaned out the worst of the dandelions. I've got my tomatoes. Let me show you here real quickly. Oh, you got to groan. Okay, so this bed is all things onions and garlic. So these are the garlic seed starts. And you notice, yes, I do have some asparagus trying its best to grow. We will be eating that yet today. So I had purchased also onion sets. They were terrible. I planted them. I don't have high hopes for them, but I planted them around here. And there's quite a bit of asparagus growing over there. And I put my three banana peppers. So next course of action is over here where I'm going to plant my jack-o'-lanterns and my sugar pie pumpkins. And then I'm going to share a new variety. And I've had to think strategically, like where am I gonna put them? Because the pumpkins that grow are 50 to 100 pounds. So I'll have to be able to offload them you know, before they get large onto the garden paths and then prop them with bricks so they don't rot in the straw. That's the best way I found. So yeah, let's get our pumpkin patch planted. And then that is gonna be it for the plants that I have started as seedlings. I'm really proud of what I've grown. My um, garlic, garlic looks fabulous. 
I also have garlic that I harvested last year, late summer, that's now sprouted that I will be putting in um, maybe among the current garlic. You know, there's, there's room. And that's what I think square foot gardening is really all about. What I've learned is, wow, this is way closer together than I've ever put it. So I'm hoping it works out. So if things get crowded out, don't do well, I always have the option of transplanting to a pot. So let's get over here and get these pumpkins planted. Okay guys, so according to the planting guide, a pumpkin requires at least four square feet. And I can tell you absolutely from experience that is not the case. So I have rotated all my crops. If you saw my earlier video, I did go ahead and um, remineralize the soil. So I'm not going to worry about what they're saying because mm, I know that's not correct. I do want, I can afford to put my sugar pie pumpkins going that way, but my jack-o'-lanterns, which are in these little pots rather than the squares, they need to go this way. So I am probably going to have to pick, sorry guys, survival of the fittest. <laughs> I have actually got blooms getting ready to start. Wow, did I ever grow too many pumpkins. You don't want to be grown, don't you? <laughs> okay, that one isn't the best. Let's go ahead. These vines, so um, I think they'll be fine. And we'll find the best ones. I'm so glad that I did do my um, beds prior. Wow, dude, you're kind of wilted, man. Okay, you're a really good one. So we'll put you here. Mm, you here. The ones that I'm not planting, I'm going to plant someplace else. You know, so if they don't fit in the bed, wow, that's probably too much. This bed is going to require all the water. <laughs> I can say that, but that's okay. We can certainly do that. So, I know you've all seen planting before. I can't tell y'all how many worms I have in my garden, like earthworms. So, you can just peel this away and then see all the roots. This was almost root bound. I'm gonna break that up a little bit. Get back in there, wormy. And what I can tell you is, I will spend hours this summer watering. I um, do not have an irrigation system in my garden. I wish I did. Our water is so expensive, generally. Sorry about that worm. Y'all need a worm to eat? Um, I carry five gallon buckets, but I will also use up those. And I did let these seedlings dry out a little bit so that I wasn't dealing with a soaking wet, soppy mess to try to plant it. To me, it just works out better. Okay, so we're gonna do the survival of the fittest man, sorry. We're gonna do three jack-o'-lanterns because we have our great big ones that we are going to plant from seed. And this I'm just putting in my compost bin, guys. And I also put the coconut fiber stuff in there. I think it's fine. If it isn't, well, it can be picked out. So one thing I will say about gardening is I think it's a series of experiments based on your climate, um, the amount of time you have to spend on it too. That can be a factor. Ooh, we, do these ever have great roots? And all of this so far, guys, I have planted from seed except the banana peppers and a couple of the tomato plants. I wanted a, a yellow, I decided, and I'm hoping and praying. I hope y'all had a nice Mother's Day. Um, I did not film, nor did I post pictures. Uh, 
was not my mom's best day, but we still had a good time. I'm hoping when I have fresh garden produce that my mom will be more interested in eating because I have to tell y'all, she's not very interested in eating and she's so tiny. She needs some of my... <laughs> if you could only do like a person-to-person -person fat transplant, like I could totally help her out, right? Okay, this soil's a little more clay. Not sure why. And you can plant the whole pea pot I choose not to because they were a little root bound. I want them to be able to really expand quickly. And you can also leave those pea pots right in your bed. I always find interesting things. I didn't share with you guys. I don't know if I kept it. I found a Lego in my garden. I'm sure it didn't come from my house, but I had to laugh. It was an orange Lego. Okay, I'm gonna finish planting this bed and then we're gonna grab our big boy pumpkin seeds, whatever they're called, I'll share them with you in just a moment. And I did get those from Azure. So stay tuned for more garden adventures. And I've learned you can't turn the camera off with your gloved hand. We've made amazing progress already. Back over here in the corner, I don't know, can I show you? Even though it looks like it's in the shade back there where the lilies are, I took the extra sugar pie pumpkins and I had some rhubarb to plant and also a couple jack-o'-lanterns. And even though it looks like it's in the shade, it is only, it's not even 11 o'clock yet. We have made great timing today. So what am I gonna plant? So this is the Big Max pumpkin. And it says this bright orange variety has good potential to be 50 to 100 pounds plus with scrumptious yellow orange fine grain flesh 110 days to maturity so that's like a little over three months so they should come to fruition in september so just in time for you know all things fall so you do plant these about an inch deep 18 to 30 inches apart i'm going to be okay bumblebee <laughs> I'm gonna be kind of sparing here. I'm gonna do what I think is three along this edge. If they don't sprout, I still have the option of planting again. So let's find the ones that look like super good. Yeah, like that one. I realized as I was going through my seeds, I have way more stuff I want to plant than I'm going to have space. <laughs> there are two cardinals playing tag ever out here. I have so many cardinals, which if you didn't know is Ohio's state bird. Um, sometimes I'll have 50 cardinals on the lawn. So um, that's another reason I don't like to treat my backyard, even though it looks a hot mess, just saying. So what else do I want to plant? I definitely want to do cucumbers. I want to do green beans. I want to do corn. I want to do carrots. I want to do radishes. And really what I have left is this 16 by four after I plant this bed. So this bed, I'm just doing the pumpkins at the edge so it'll leave the majority. Um, I was thinking about cucumbers, but I might do carrots and radishes instead and save the, um, the green beans, anything climbing, because I think I have pole beans too for in the back. It's so hard to decide. And guys, I don't make a plan. I don't write it out. I just get out here and let the earth talk to me and tell me what I should be planting. I don't stress too much. This year, more so than any other year, I'm feeling the pressure to produce food. Just with everything going on, this is not meant to be like a a negative um, video by any means. This should be a joyful time, but you know, the garden does feed me and I know I put in a lot of peppers and onions, but peppers and onions can make a blah meal tremendously better. And I, I just thought I needed that much. I didn't grow a lot last year in the way of peppers. 
and onions. And I did grow garlic, but I didn't get a huge yield of onions and I ate them up like that. I think I made onion broth out of the majority of them. So let's see if we can get these pumpkin seeds in the ground. Then I'm gonna go for carrots and radishes here. And then I'm probably gonna have to break down and wear some shoes, even though I said you wouldn't see me in shoes till fall, because I think I'm gonna have to shovel turn these two big beds because it is they are brand new, brand new um, filtered and compost or topsoil and compost. And it just looks like it needs some love. So I did not think I would get this far, but I get excited. So you may be wondering, what did I do with the things that I didn't plant that I still had? Because I did more seedlings this year than I've ever done. I put them up by my veggie pod because I haven't planted a lot of herbs yet. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my veggie pod. And then, you know what? I think I'm gonna take some of my flower space and put my herbs in there. Um, yeah, I mean, why not, right? All right, let's get to plant. Okay, y'all, I <laughs> just shed a layer, so. I really am enjoying my planting square. Highly recommend it. My tomatoes need a drink. Um, so it says that carrots and radishes are um, go in the red hole. 16 plants per square foot. Now, if y'all have ever planted carrots, they're like teeny tiny little things. I don't know that I can necessarily um, do these tiny, tiny seeds. I had ordered this red coyote carrot. Um, yeah, it's only in cold weather, so um, it's too hot already for that. So I'm gonna try this Uzbek Golden. It was a free seed sample from Baker Creek. And then the pelleted ones from um, Fairy Morris. Now, I will say these aren't new this year. So if they don't sprout and grow, I will put something else in here, you know, that's really my options. So, I really like this square foot idea. I can see where I have wasted a lot of precious garden space, so, you know, just get you a square cardboard and punch holes in it, if nothing else. Um, the radishes. This says, um, sow spring radishes in several small successions for a continued harvest. Um, quarter inch seed depth. So, I mean, I'm barely gonna poke a hole to do both the carrots and radishes, but let's see how many, and I know I'm making footprints in this, but let's see what we can get in here. So, oh, you can't see, can you? So what you do is you press your seed square down here. And yes, I have a straw in my bed. You take your little poker thing and, you know, we don't want them very deep, so I'm just going to make holes for all of the red. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Now, because this is fairly small, oh, it's still going. Mm. I'm going to Oh good grief. These are so tiny. But let's try it as it says to do. And yeah, I'm not putting one seed, I'm putting 1000 seeds. I can't help myself. places it's kind of hard to see where I um, poke the holes but you don't want these sewn real deeply so I'm just barely gonna cover up the holes and then we'll water everything really good shortly so let's just keep going and I'm gonna need a really good bath tonight, guys. I'll bring you back shortly. Well, I 
have been promising Frankie a little outing because I got him a new harness because he got too fat for his old one. Do you want to say hi to the peoples? Come on. What do you think? Poor little fat cat. <laughs> he's a little scared, which kind of surprises me because normally he's just like king of the lawn. It might be the straw. Frankie, do you hear all the birdies? Oh, you're scared, aren't you? Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, you want to come see my mom? He's like, no, I just sit here, mommy. <laughs> yeah, look at all the stuff my mom planted. What do you think? He's just scared. It's okay, buddy. Mommy, come down here and pet you a little bit. Hmm. You forgot what it's like to be outside, didn't you? Hmm. This is not very exciting, is it? <laughs> I did get the radishes and the carrots planted. And things are looking pretty wilty. You know, they're a little stressed because I just transplanted. So I need to get out the sprinkler. But before I did that, I wanted to give Frankie a chance to be outside. I don't think he'll go anywhere, but I like to keep him on my arm. What do you think, buddy? You're too scared to enjoy it. Mm. He's like, I just sit right here, Mama. <laughs> such a stop, huh? You hear the birdies? You talk to the birdies inside. Mm. Come on. You want to come walk? Let's see if we can get him to walk. You want to come and walk, buddy? He's like, no, I sit here, Mama. <laughs> All right, I better take him back in. Well, we have three-fifths of the garden planted, which I think is an accomplishment. I've pulled out corn, beans, some squash. I think I have plenty of room for all of those items and maybe even more. You know, the first day of gardening season, it's really easy to wear yourself out. <laughs> I'm pretty worn out, just saying. And my table and chairs here, are filthy. Um, I do have some flowers planted, so I'm happy about that. I got my grill out. Um, I got everything out of the little shed, but whew, I think I need a break, guys. But I'm going to take you on a quick tour and show you. This is garden part one. Show you what I managed to get planted. Oh, that's gonna leave a scab. <laughs> Not even sure what I did there. Oh dear, probably was in the whole grill thing. I have one of these like tailgate grills that folds flat, which really needs replaced. And I couldn't remember how to latch it up. So yeah, it got my knee and it's kind of full of dirt. So we'll spit wash that. <laughs> I'm a nurse, don't, don't worry about stuff like that. So let's take a quick tour guys. And please again, I hope you'll excuse my appearance. I slicked my hair back after I washed it wet and just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't want it in my face while I'm trying to get things going. I also want to show you where I'm going to put my chicken coop and why. I do plan uh, to free range the girls when I'm here because I want them out of the garden. Um, the fence probably won't be enough of a deterrent. Plus I have two beds outside the fence. So that's gonna be a problem. I'm looking at those long tunnels that you can um, put up so that they'll have like a big area, big run. Um, and I may go ahead and do that. I, you know, this is all new to me. And um, I did hear from the chicken people today and she's like, did your coop come? And I'm like, no. <laughs> so it is just now um, 10 after 12. The original email that I got said between 10 and 2, but, you know, who knows? I mean, they'll get here when they get here, and there's so much activity going on today. At least they quit cutting down trees, so it's a little quieter. Um, I'm hoping I will hear them. Uh, I do have a motion-sensitive camera, so I should at least get a notification on my phone, but I haven't been packing my phone around while I've been doing this, so 
yeah, they haven't been here yet. I know that for sure. So let's take a quick tour. So this is one of the pots that I planted and this will really fill in um, purple petunias and that is sweet potato vine. Over here, well, I see one kind of bit the dust. We'll just pull that off. Is some really pretty petunias. They have a sort of a variety of color. I think that is so pretty. And that of course will fill in. Um, this little hook thing my son made me in high school so it could use a paint job and this is actually a solar lamp um you can hang it a couple ways but it has a string here of solar lights so that will light up at night this i put a candle in it's filthy guys don't look this is another solar light so here in my veggie pod i have maybe watered it a little vigorously. I do have some of the lettuce that we planted in another video, lots of chives, and I can't wait to get the seed pod. This um, is all volunteer. This is uh, chamomile, and this is, oh, wait for it, the thing, uh, borage. So um, it, it's very invasive. I will probably at least take this section out I don't know. And over here, I guess I left my trail in here, are the additional pepper plants. I thought I had signs of life on this sage, which I purchased last year. Um, and there's just like one little green speck or two. So I'm gonna give it some time, see if it'll grow. I have room over here for more herbs. And of course I can replace the sage if I need to. All right, let me pause for a moment. Let's get everything watered in. So back here we have carrots and radish and our giant pumpkins. I have three of them along here. These are sugar pie pumpkins with some jack-o'-lanterns here. And I know that's a lot in a small area, but again, survival of the fittest, not all of them will live. Here is onions, a few banana peppers, and lots of garlic. Behind it is my tomato bed. These are all the different kinds of peppers. And then back here, I know it looks bad, but that is mint and lemon balm, and it will choke out the weeds. I'm not too worried. Back in the back, we have our potatoes. And then I haven't done anything, but stick a shovel in those back too. Just for fun, I will share around my deck. I have lots of hostas. These are allium or the purple things. Some people call them bachelor buttons. These are all volunteer, as is the daffodils that were here. These are lilies. This is a really pretty uh, variegated grass that the bunnies love and eat it up. And then I have not banded down all of my daffodils. I sure did enjoy them this year. Where I plan to put the chicken coop is right along here. So as you see, it's filtered sun. It would be far too hot to put them out here. Sorry about the dandelions, guys. Uh, I want to be able to access it. It's fairly close to the door, but not so close that when you're sitting on the deck, you get um, odor problems. So um, I'm thinking, you know, it'll go right along here. I do have a gate I can pull over and along here is just hostas and lilies and loads of weeds, guys. I haven't weeded yet. This is a peony, or some people call it a piney. A lovely dandelion back here. These are lilies, lilies, lilies. I've got a lot of weeding to do. Lilies, not sure. Lilies. This is a really pretty flower. I'm not sure what it is. It was um, bright yellow, but you can see it has lots of seeds. So I'm just gonna let that seed down. It's some type of perennial. More lilies. And then back here, where you see the lighter dirt, we have a couple rhubarb, of course a hosta, bunch of lilies. And then in the back, I put the pumpkins and I've got some lovely volunteer vine I will probably cut back. And I do have vines on my fence. It is not poison ivy. I forget what it's called, but it's really pretty in the summer. And then this big 
vine as Along well. Along the front, and there's my generator. I do have a lily hidden in there. The ferns are kind of taking over, and I cut out a lot, but they pop up in the grass pretty much everywhere. Moving to the front here, try not to show my house number. My roses are doing fabulous. These are knockout roses, hot pink. This is sedum. I do have lilies. And then these little teepee looking things, that's another lily, are the daffodils that I have rubber banded down to keep them off the sidewalk and keep them from staining. Big hosta here. These are balloon flowers, more allium. Hostas, allium, weeds. <laughs> forget what that's called. Some iris, more lilies. Oh my goodness, a lot of allium. These are also lilies, but I've got a lot of grass in here. Butterfly bush, which is just now starting to come back. May have to do a little trimming on that. Um, I had a bird's nest up here. Oh, yep. It's kind of fallen down, so I think they abandoned ship on that. They certainly have pooed on my um, solar lights. <laughs> I have some space here that I plan to plant sunflowers. This is a yarrow. I transplanted an itty bitty little bit of it from the neighbors. But this is, uh, oh, I can never think of what it's called, hydrangea. And then, of course, I do have, I've tried and tried, but I do have my clematis. Super happy about that. And this is a yucca. So, lots coming, guys. We've enjoyed today's gardening adventure. A little of this, a little of that. Sitting on the porch swing on my front porch, listening to the traffic. Not always fun, right? But uh, I have my porch kind of decorated for spring. And I'm going to just sit and relax. Oh, I have dirt on my face. Yeah. Definitely not an influencer, guys. <laughs> so until I see you again, please go ahead and smash that like button. Drop me a comment below. Where are you on your garden progress? Uh, what do you think about square foot gardening? Because that is quite a thing, right? I hope I'm not making you motion sick by rocking. I think I'm going to really get a better yield this year. I'm going to go clean the dirt off my face. So in the meantime, be well, be healthy, be blessed, and I'll see y'all very soon. Take care.